Excellent. All right. Well, listen, you take care. They're, they're, they're filming me at the moment. <laughs> All right, take care. <laughs> As an arts professional, being a gallerist in a market like Portland, a community such as Portland, it's very interesting because there are so many other things that you could do and still engage with artists. You could be in the nonprofit arena, either through academia or with an enterprise or, or uh, an institution like Space Gallery, and still work with artists in the same way that I do. I love working with artists. My name is Tim Clorius. I do um, paintings, um, kind of traditional in approach, but dealing with like life today. And then I do um, graffiti works. Like, actually, I should uh, specify aerosol art. Like uh, that, or graffiti-inspired work, or post-graffiti work, or I don't know what you want to call it. Tim is an artist who I associate with Portland, Maine now because he's made the choice to live here. He has a studio here. It's in the artist studio building on Congress Street. He and his wife have a home here. They've had a child, and his identification with Maine for me is that just because he's from Germany doesn't mean he's a German artist. He's made the commitment to live here and to do his studio practice from here. And then I take a brush mm -hmm. and a lot, most of it is like this, something like this, you know? Yeah. And then I'll go and I'll rest my hand and then I can do kind of like that, you know? And I'll just really carefully and then... Portland has an amazing art scene, like for the size of, it, of the community. So if I compare it to Germany directly, you know, where, where I'm also represented, so I, I feel it's a city that's much larger than Portland. It has a rich old culture. It's a community that's hundreds of years older, like uh, music and theater and the arts are very important, you know, yet there are no real, there are very few really high quality galleries that like really uh, participate in promoting contemporary art, showing contemporary art. I felt like for the last 10 years, I've been really bound in the, in the arts community in Portland because I have my studio right downtown, because I'm right next to Mecca, because I'm right next to a lot of galleries and the art walk is right in the middle so everything happens around me and so it's just lucky so I, I do feel I, I always felt very uh, very welcome uh, I make drawings of kind of lots of little people that are cascading through barren landscapes in a pseudo post-apocalyptic environment uh, I like to fill the page so that it becomes empty again and this whole kind of weird psyche. It's, it's more about um, just icons, really simple icons being placed in an environment that evokes an emotion. Well, I, <clears throat> I originally did it um, a lot of productions. Like I'm really, I'm leaning towards the uh, side that I want to do, make graffiti art like more acceptable to the public in terms of not necessarily acceptance but in terms of understanding what it really is and looking a little bit deeper than just looking at the tag that you see on the wall that annoys you. I want to show that, that it's a rich art, art movement, a quite old art movement and <clears throat> I felt that the best way to do that or what has proven most successful is to try to do like work that I feel is like high quality that stops people and then starts conversations and so then we get into the conversations about the roots of graffiti and where it could lead in the future in terms of an art form. Hey Johnny. Yeah. Are we good? Yeah, I do uh, like graphic novels, comic books, um, short, mostly mini comics. Um, I've been working on a series of uh, octopus recently, um, black and white, very graphic, um, and they're kind of humanistic characters. And then put black on top of the brown. No, so first black, then the brown, then the black on top of the brown, then this black, then I have to put the white, then I have to let that dry, then put the gray over it, and that's because you always have to cut back, you can't, at one point you can't do mistakes. So here, like, there, there's no room for, if you do an error, you have to do everything again. I feel that art is, in reality, like, really fragmented, and it's a, it's a, it's a, a culture. Uh, so at the same, you know, graffiti, for example, is art. Um, but at the same time, it's a completely different culture than the gallery system, which is a completely different culture to a lot of contemporary art. 
uh, which young people like participate in today, which is sort of more like the space idea where you have like a party connected with the work, you know. So on the work is looked at it's several different ways. The one in like as it is in life, you know, the other one as it is isolated from life. I like to think about art and, and I like to participate in all different three fields of it. You know, I, I like to be have works that are in, invaluable that are in the street for example. Uh, on, on the surface that they can be removed so I can participate in the community and I can actually like take part in in art, you know, at the same time though I don't, I also want my work to be looked at like in a critical way <clears throat> and in the way that I intended it to be looked at, like in this best setting. Primarily work with uh, technology. Um, I do some work with uh, light and LEDs and uh, analog methods of sound synthesis and a lot of uh, found objects. So generally stuff that's uh, sculptural and often has an interactive component. The main strength of, of the art scene here, whether you're referring to uh, you know, uh, visual art or music or film or, or whatever, is there's a really tremendous community and, a, and a, a really great feeling of community and um, a lot of participation across genres. Uh, and so it's really a, a very exciting place to work. No, I mean, the great thing about Portland is everybody knows everybody else in some way, shape, or form. And if you don't know somebody, you've probably heard about them from a friend or a colleague or whatever. There is so many like, artists that are incredibly talented that like, really stand out on a national scale, on an international scale. And you're kind of, and they're right here. And sometimes you really have to slap yourself in the face and be, Wow, man, these guys are right here. Sometimes people here don't even know about it. There's so many wonderful people. There's not a lot of competition, which is it's really great because like every artist nurtures each other. It's really great feedback, and it's such a nice, close-knit community. The current art scene has definitely brightened the downtown of Portland. The galleries and the artists don't fully take all the credit, but they're, they're a big ingredient. Like if you were baking a cake, I would say that the artists and the arts businesses are like flour. So it's like the major ingredient for what we would look at in Portland as being um, what the draw is for downtown Portland. And it, it's, it's the arts. How would I bake an art cake? Um, well, it has to be one part community. Support from friends, peers. And There's definitely the business aspect of it. And there's going to be some booze in there somewhere. Um, <laughs> um, everybody's always doing something, um, and everybody has really great ideas. I'm very proud to be a part of it too, you know, like, so there's, it's great to be a part of a real art scene, and that's why I became an artist in the first place, and I want to be able to tell my son, you know, like, your daddy, like, knew that and that artist, and you know what I mean? It's, it's a beautiful thing, so. Cheer for our